Hi guys, uh, this is Jaime with the uh, A&B Truck uh, Driving School and I wanted to touch base on a few items. This is about how to pass the uh, road test, the city driving test. It's very simple, they're very very specific about the things that you can and cannot do, okay? Uh, they will not fail you for the transmission usage. Uh, most of the drivers they will grind in the, 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 uh, the gears as, the, as they are going through the uh, driving. That's because you guys don't have that much practice on it. Even experienced drivers, even seasoned drivers, they still grind the, the gears because they're not used to the truck. So 95% um, of students that fail the road test are because of speed. That's one. You don't get up to speed quick enough. You might take too long to get up to speed. You might not be watching for the speed signs. You have to be going at least three to five miles under the speed limit. So if it's a 50 mile an hour zone, you gotta go 45 minimum to 47, 48. Keep it there and get to it quickly, quick enough. If, again, if it takes too long, they're gonna fail you. They will let you know, speed up. And if you don't pay attention to that, you're, you're done. It's pretty much done. Uh, number two, uh, lane sharing. If there's a pedestrian that you can see uh, or a cyclist that you can see and you still share the lane with them, you're, you're done. You can't do that. So most of the students, the mistake they, they, they make is that they're, when they're driving, they're looking down too close to their truck. And you gotta be able to gaze about a quarter of a mile ahead of you so that you can react, prevent, be proactive, to, proactive towards that. So you see, if you see a pedestrian, if you see a cyclist, you can, you can you know, switch lanes, right? Get on the next lane, pass them, and go back to, to the lane if the instructor is okay with them, all right? So that's reason number two. Uh, number three, traffic checks. There is 22 traffic checks that they can penalize you for. 22, that's a lot. You're gonna be going through a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, traffic checks as you go through. Every intersection you encounter, you have to look both ways. Remember when they teach you when you were a kid, you had to look both ways, stop, look? Well, you're not gonna stop, because you're driving, but you are gonna look both ways using your waist. If you just look, you know, using your eyesight or only your head like this, it's not gonna fly. You gotta be able to pull yourself with the uh, steering wheel, look both ways as you go. Even if you don't check, just act as if you are. All right, that's another one. That's 22 of them, so that's a lot. Uh, another one is hitting a curb, obviously. If you turn too close to the curb, you're gonna hit it, or you're gonna go over the line that's painted sometimes, and that's an automatic uh, fail. So you gotta go in deep enough to the second lane and turn all the way to the right, or go deep enough to go into the second lane if you're going left. All right, so stay away from those curves. Uh, another one is lane changes. If you do not do a proper lane change, you will fail. You have to treat every lane change they ask you to do as if it's raining, as if it's nighttime. So usually if you're driving your own vehicle and you're gonna switch lanes on the freeway and it's nighttime and it's raining, you're gonna be very careful. That's pretty much the way you have to approach it. You're driving and they ask you, okay, go left. Or, or switch lanes to the left. You put your signal on, you use your waist, check your blind uh, spot, and then look ahead, and then look again on your mirror, and then switch lanes. You can't just flip the, the uh, signal and switch. You can't do that. They will fail you for that too. That's a big one as well. A lot of people fail on that. So again, you check two, two times, you put your signal on, check your blind side, switch lanes. After you check the second time, and then, uh, and then you're done, okay? And the last one is not following directions. Uh, if they tell you uh, to do something, you don't do it, they will fail you for that. Or if you do something without them asking you, they will fail you for that. If there's a pedestrian, you need to change lanes, you let it know. There's a pedestrian, ma'am or sir, I'm gonna switch lanes. And then uh, you take it from there, right? I will do that. Uh, so those are the main, main, main reasons why people will fail on the road. Another one, you don't know the area. If you're gonna go test a Fontana, that's where we usually go. Well, I want you to go to the Fontana area. Go see around the DMV area. They're not gonna take you too far away. So go check out if there's any construction, any school zones, any bumps, the speed limits that they have, the freeway entrance and exit. So you wanna know or gather as much information as you possibly can so that there's no surprises, all right? So that will be it for the road. Uh, know the transmission, uh, do some research. If you wanna do a Super 10 like we do, then go online, see how it works, and, and you know, check out videos on that and stuff, and visualize them before you go on the road. Um, so that's pretty much it 
for that, uh, uh, so those are the tips, those are the main reasons why you will fail. If you observe those, you will pass the test. If you're able to keep those under control and uh, observe them as you go on the training. When I take somebody on the road, I, I gotta make sure that they actually actually know all this stuff. Otherwise, when I take him, I'm gonna be, hey, you know, you're not watching you know, your mirror, so you're not checking your traffic, you know, your lane changes are, are wrong. So I expect for students to know this stuff before I take them on the road, and also for them to have an understanding on how the transmission works. Otherwise, most of their attention will be placed on that instead of on all the technicalities that can actually fail you. You do this, you go on the road a couple of times, you'll be fine. Okay, you'll pass. So good luck with it.